Hey guys, it's Pop Nerd here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to make a quick and easy sci-fi city on Blender with randomly generated displacement maps. So to create these maps, we'll be using this free software called JS Placement, which I found through one of Ducky 3D's tutorials, which is super helpful by the way, so I'll be leaving a link to that tutorial as well as the download link in the description below. So once you have JS Placement downloaded, just open that up and you'll see this screen. Click on this up here and go to JS Placement 2. And as you can see up here, there are a couple different presets that you can use to get different types of displacement. And I'd recommend messing around to see which one you like the best, but I'll just go with Agromax for this tutorial. And just click to generate a displacement map. And you can think of each shape or sprite as a separate building. So you can mess around with the iterations and size to match the scale that you're going for. So if I want a bigger city, I'm just going to turn down the scaling and turn up the iterations. And once you have a height map that you really like, just click save height to save that. And I'll just be saving this to my desktop. And another super cool thing about JS placement is that you can hit toggle colorizer and it gives you a bunch of awesome color presets and all of them look super cool. But for this tutorial, I won't be using this. So let's just create a new scene in Blender. So once you have that scene ready, delete that default cube and let's add in a plane. I'll scale that up and hit tab to go into edit mode. And let's give that a bunch of subdivisions. I think I'll give it a hundred. And I'll just give it one more. And before we do any actual displacement, just make sure that your render engine is set to cycles instead of Eevee. And once you have that ready, just hit your shading tab and let's give our plane a new material. So I'll just make the color of the plane gray and turn up the roughness since the final result will be more of a silhouette of the city. And let's add in an image texture as well as a displacement node. And let's plug the color into the height and the displacement into the displacement and open up our height map and the image texture node. And once you've done that, let's go to our rendered mode. And as you can see, there's no actual displacement. So we're gonna have to go to our material settings and under surface, let's change the displacement method from bump only to displacement and bump. And as you can see, we have our city. And if you'd like to change the height of these buildings, something you can do is turn up the scale in the displacement node. But for this video, I'll just go with the default scale of one. So let's go back to our layout and hit rendered view. And I'm realizing that I probably should have made this city bigger in JS placement, but I'll just duplicate the plane so I don't have to go back. So for our lighting, our main source of light will just be the fog, so we can just delete this light right here. And let's add in a cube for our fog. And just scale that up to match the size of your city. And once you've got that, let's go back into our shader editor and select our cube and give it a new material. So we can just delete the default shader and I'll add in a principled volume node and plug in the volume into the volume. And let's turn down the density a bunch. And I'll also be adding um, some emission because we don't have any source of light. So I'm going to turn that up to 0 0.001 and as you can see we have our fog. So we can also mess around with the color of the fog to match the mood of the world that you're going for. Um, for now I think I'll just go with the bluish color but I'll show you guys more in a bit. Um, since the buildings are barely visible I'll also turn up the emission strength so I think I'll turn that up to 0 0.005 and that looks pretty good to me. So I'd still recommend messing around with all the values to see what you like the best, but I'll just keep this. And yeah, that's basically it. I'll just set up my camera real quick and also show you guys different colors that you can use for the fog. So I'll just hit the view tab here to the side and hit lock camera to view so we get a better view of the city. And I also think I wanna make my camera a bit wider horizontally, so we can see more buildings because I think I might also use this for my thumbnail. And let's go back to our shading tab to make some last minute adjustments to change the color of the fog and whatnot. So 
while blue looks great um it's really up to you what color you want like fog to be all of them look great it really depends on the aesthetic that you're going for so let's say like you want a blade runner aesthetic orange looks great and yeah that's basically it so while this method of creating cities is great for wide shots and backgrounds if you want like a closer shot um, i definitely recommend modeling the buildings yourself and maybe using these as like a background um, but yeah that's basically it i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and i'll see you guys next time